Hi, I'm Jeff Payne, and I'm a preventive maintenance instructor with Caterpillar. And today we're up here on top of a uh, 320 excavator, and we're going to go over a, a daily walk around inspection. Now, these daily walk around inspection sheets, you can find them out on uh, uh, safety.cat.com. There's a bunch of different daily check sheets out there for different types of machines, and you can download those free. Once again, safety.cat.com. So, up on here, I've already opened the hood, and some of the things I'm going to look for on a daily. I want to check my coolant here. Now, if that's warm and the machine's been running, I don't want to open that up. But I want to check that if it's cool, make sure I have coolant in there. I have a dipstick right here for the engine. I want to check my engine oil. I want to look the area over real quick and see if I see any leaks or anything that jumps out at me that might be a potential problem today while I'm operating. But if I don't see any leaks or anything that looks like it's out of the place, this is probably good in here. Right over here to my left, down in this area, I have a dipstick, and that uh, is for my swing motor oil. I need to check that, make sure that there's oil inside there. If not, bring that up to the proper level. So, once again, in this area here, look around while I'm up here. If I see something that's uh, wet or oily or leaking down here, I might want to check that out before I start operating. But if not, I'm going to head on down and start to walk around the uh, ground level of the machine. So, opening up this compartment here, we're going to look in here real quick. Uh, I'm just giving it a real quick visual, looking for leaks in here. And also I want to check my hydraulic oil, which is right back in here. It needs to be in the service position, so that machine needs to be sitting with a stick straight up and down to check that oil. Also I want to look at my track when I'm out here real quick on my daily, look around it, look and see if there's any missing bolts or anything that I see, or any damaged or defective shoes on here that are bent, anything like that. One bent shoe can lead to another bent shoe and another bent shoe. They just kind of progressive from there on out. Getting around to the rear of the machine, I like to get down underneath here and look and see if there's any puddles or any oil underneath here. Do I see any oil leaking out here back where my, uh, my, my drive motors are and my brake valve? If I see leakage coming out of here, I know there's something going on wrong inside that compartment. So come on around to this side of the machine over here. Once again, I'm going to look, look at my track, looking for missing bolts, bent shoes, broken shoes. Look at my steps and stuff like that when I'm here, making sure they're there. And we're going to get into this compartment over here. So in this compartment here, we want to look at our coolers and make sure that they're clean and free of debris. I mean, uh, they pack up, they get debris, leaves, stuff like that inside here. That's the kind of stuff that can make this thing run hot. Over in here, we have fuel water separator drain. So that's a daily here that we drain a little sediment and water out of that bowl if it has any in it. We're going to come around here. We have our air filter here. We're going to check our dust ejector there for dust in that. This has an electronic air filter monitor in the cab, so it will tell you when this filter is plugging up and you need to change it. So you don't really need to get in there until that time. Also in this area, we have our windshield washer bottle, our disconnect switch, and our batteries. Sometimes these batteries get overlooked. Um, make sure when you're doing your uh, at least your 250 hour services that you check these batteries and these connections in here. So walking forward on the cab, we got our cab here. Up inside the cab when I climb up inside there, I want to make sure my controls and everything are free and easily moving. I want to check out my safety devices like my seat belt, any lights, windshield wipers, travel alarms, maybe I got a, a warning beacon that needs to be on here. Any of that stuff needs to be operating in good condition. Last but not least, up here on the front of the tractor, we have the bucket. We want to make sure our teeth are all here, that they're in good shape and not worn too much. All the retainers are in, and they're held on firmly. We also have uh, bucket wear plates that need to be checked out. You might need to roll the bucket into a different position to look at those better, but those are there to help protect your bucket. For more information on your daily walk around, you can consult your operation and maintenance manual, your OMM. It's located in the seat, the back of the seat pocket. Uh, you can get daily walk around sheets from uh, safety.cat.com. And of course, you can always contact your local cat dealer for more help.